Max Bayer is an American actor, screenwriter, producer, and director. He is best known for playing Jethro Bodine on The Beverly Hillbillies and in January 2015, after the death of Donna Douglas. Bear became the last surviving member of the show's cast. Early life. Bear was born Maximilian Adalbert Bear Jr. in Oakland, California, the son of boxing champion Max Bear and his wife Mary Ellen Sullivan. His father was of Jewish and Scots-Irish descent. His brother and sister are James Manny Bear and Maud Bear. His uncle was boxer and actor Buddy Bear. He attended Christian Brothers High School in Sacramento. Bear earned a bachelor's degree in business administration from Santa Clara University, with a minor in philosophy. Career Bear's first acting role was in Goldilocks and the Three Bears at the Blackpool Pavilion in England in 1949. He began acting professionally in 1960 at Warner Brothers, where he made appearances on television programs such as Maverick, Surfside 6, Hawaiian Eye, Cheyenne, The Roaring Twenties, and 77 Sunset Strip. His career took off two years later, when he joined the cast of the Beverly Hillbillies. The Beverly Hillbillies in 1962, Bear was cast in the role of the doltish Jeth Robodine, Jed Clampett's cousin's son. It proved to be the high point of his acting career and the role for which he is best remembered. He continued to take other parts during the nine-year run of the Beverly Hillbillies and appeared on the television programs Vacation, Playhouse and Love, American Style, as well as in the Western A Time for Killing. With the January 2015 death of co-star Donna Douglas, Burr is the only surviving cast member. Later career The Beverly Hillbillies went off the air in 1971, and Bear made numerous guest appearances on television. To counter typecasting, he concentrated on working in feature motion pictures. Bear wrote and produced the drama Macon County Line, in which he played Deputy Reed Morgan. It was the highest grossing movie per dollar invested at the time. Made for just $110,000, it earned almost $25 million at the box office. This record lasted until the Blair Witch Project broke it in 1999. Bear also wrote, produced, and directed the drama The Wild McCulloughs, as well as playing the role Culver Robinson. He then had the idea of using the title of a popular song as a movie title and acquired the rights to the Bobby Gentry hit song and producing Ode to Billy Joe. Made for $1.1 million, it grossed $27 million at the box office, plus earnings in excess of $2.65 million outside the U.S., $4.75 million from television, and $2.5 million from video. The film starred Robbie Benson and Glynis O'Connor. Since the success of Ode to Billy Joe, the motion picture industry has produced more than 100 song title movies. They decided to pursue the rights to the hit song, Like a Virgin, recorded by the singer Madonna in 1984. When ABC tried to prevent him from making the film, he sued and won a judgment of more than $2 million. He directed the comedy Hometown USA before retiring to his home at Lake Tahoe, Nevada. He still makes occasional guest appearances on television. Bear has said that playing Jethro Bodine sank his acting career. When Paul Henning asked him to reprise the role for a 1981 television movie, he declined. Yet when the feature film The Beverly Hillbillies was made 12 years later, reports cited Bear's dissatisfaction that only Buddy Epson was asked to do a cameo. Bear appeared in the 1993 TV special The Legend of the Beverly Hillbillies, reprising his role as Jethro. By 2004, Bear recognized the marketability of the Beverly Hillbillies and appeared with actress Donna Douglas at the annual TV Land Awards, Jethro's Casino. In 1985, Bear began investigating the gambling industry. He noted that tourists paid a $5 to $6 admission to tour the Ponderosa Ranch, which was the location for filming some episodes of TV's Bonanza. There was nothing to see but a working cattle ranch, but people enjoyed it because of the Bonanza connection. 
Bear decided that Taurus would also pay for something dealing with the Beverly Hillbillies. He began using his Jethro Bodine role as a marketing opportunity toward the gambling and hotel industry. Bear obtained the sub-licensing rights, including food and beverage rights, to the Beverly Hillbillies from CBS in 1991. His business partner estimates the cost of obtaining the rights and developing the ideas has been $1 million. 65 Beverly Hillbillies slot machines were built in 1999 and placed in 10 casinos. In late 2003, Burr attempted the redevelopment of a former Walmart location in Carson City into a Beverly Hillbillies-themed hotel and casino, but was unsuccessful due to building code conflicts and other developers on the neighboring properties. On May 4, 2007, Burr announced the sale of the property and the purchase of another parcel just outside of Carson City, in neighboring Douglas County, where he expected less resistance to his plans. Bear purchased a 2.5-A CRE parcel in North Douglas County for $1.2 million, and will purchase an additional 20 acres once he has obtained the required zoning variances. The plans are for a 40,000-square-foot gambling area with 800 slot machines and 16 tables, flanked by various eateries including Jethro's or You Can A Buffet. The project would feature a showroom, cinema complex and a 240-room, five-story hotel. Plans for Bears Casino included a 200-foot-tall mock oil derrick spouting a 20-30-foot flame.